Now to the House of Representatives and Washington, where they are still without a speaker after a second vote this afternoon. Ohio Republican Jim Jordan fared worse in this most recent vote, with 22 Republicans voting against him. 20 members of his own party did not support him in yesterday's vote. So there is now a push to support a resolution that would instead empower interim speaker Patrick McHenry. The House has been without a speaker for two weeks following Kevin McCarthy's historic ouster. We have a chance today to end that chaos and to end that uncertainty. Jordan or any other GOP speaker candidate can only afford to lose four Republican votes if all members are present and voting. It's not yet clear if there will be another vote still today or even tomorrow.